So welcome to Technodad Life, where we build, learn, and create as a community. And on today's episode, it's going to be really quick. We're just going to go over the plugins that are available in OMV5. Pretty simple. I'll just show you. And then at the end, I'll show you my uh, plugins I use, which is not very many. I tend to do everything in Docker. So if you like this video, make sure you like. And if you haven't already subscribed, and here we go now. And a special thank you to all my patrons who, without your support, this channel would not be possible. Thank you. And if you haven't already, take a look in the description and you can find out about sponsoring this channel too. So let's look at plugins in Open Media Vault 5. And so first you need to install Open Media Vault Extras. And just watch my Open Media Vault 5 install and uh, so on video. And that will show you how to install OMV Extras. And here you can see when I installed it, I put in both the testing repo and the Extras repo. The other thing I did is I have a portainer installed, and that way I can run my Dockers. How you run Docker is then install Docker, and then this will open up the web UI. So once you've done that, go to your plugins. And here you can see there's a much abbreviated list of plugins compared to the past, but let's go over each one of these. So the backup plugin will back up everything except for the system drive. Uh, USB backup will synchronize or back up your device to a USB installed, or not installed, a USB connected device or hard drive to your computer. Uh, it will mount that automatically, and I did a video about this a while ago. Downloader is a downloading program. I've never used this myself. I tend to use other things for that. Ape Open Media Vault AOE is an interesting plugin. If this is for you, it's an ATA over Ethernet plugin. Uh, I don't have use for that at this moment, but I might in the future. Flash Memory plugin, I suggest everybody install this. And so this one is basically makes folders to RAMs. This decreases write, writes on permanent storage. And so you can see here it's good for flash cards or SD cards, but I just use it on all my, uh, all my computers because I think it probably uh, speeds them up a little bit. Uh, next is Luke's encryption, encryption in case you want to encrypt your disks. Again, this is one I've never used. LVM is Logical Volume Manager, and this helps group your disk into larger volumes. Uh, NILFs I have never used myself. Snap Raid is for when you have disks which you want to back up that have large files such as movies or things like that that you only usually use occasionally. It's sort of like Unraid, but it's called Snap Raid. Sim links is to make sim artificial or simulated links to different file systems. Union file system pools all your drives under a single mount point. And then ZFS is ZFS. So basically, again, it's by Sun Microsystem and it's a backup system. Uh, disk stats is to get more information about your disks. Fork dapt is to play digital auto program for iTunes. Mini DLNA server is so you can access your media from your MDLA uh, devices, such as like your smart TV. SharePort is an Airport Express emulator. Then we have a SNMP plugin, a TeamViewer plugin, a TFTP plugin. Uh, App tool is so that you can find, install, and remove packages. I've never used this myself. Auto shutdown will shut down your system. Clam AV is a plugin to, it's for antivirus. Locate plugin I've never used. The NUT plugin, so this is for a network UPS tool. Uh, so if you plug in a UPS unit that backs or uh, plugs into your server, you can control it from there. 
There's the open media vault extras, reset perms. And uh, so basically this resets the permissions on any shared folder. And then wake up LAN. So this will use, you can use your server to wake up different computers on your network. And so for me, you see, I just have a few actually installed. So the reset perms I use all the time, open media vault extras, and then the flash memory plugin. Uh, and that is about it for me on uh, what I normally use. Sometimes on different computers, I'll add in these extra things, but most of the things like uh, downloader plugin, I'll use uh, some other sort of Docker type of thing, for, such as BitTurrent for that instead. So that's it for today. Just a quick look at the plugins that are available in Open Media Vault 5. I uh, hope you found this helpful. Hope you're experimenting a little bit with Open Media Vault 5, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.